With all security considerations, there are trade-offs to manage. A system could theoretically be at one extreme totally secure and at the other totally open. But the reality is that actual security lies somewhere in between these two poles. To be totally secure, for instance, a system would have to have zero data traffic in and out that could be manipulated, no power running to it, and probably locked in a vault somewhere as unreachable as the moon. Now, obviously, this wouldn't be a lot of use to anybody. And since we don't want a system to be completely open so that anyone anywhere can do what they want with it, we have to understand that there will inevitably be some level of compromise in any security policy, as with all aspects of life. And it's this level of compromise that causes the vast majority of security issues. Gauging and implementing the required level in so many different areas has obviously become a highly specialised and highly paid field. Any business or organisation must investigate and weigh up where it needs to sit inside that area of compromise and then document those findings as its security policy so that it can be executed and delivered at all levels in a consistent and efficient way.